Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So part two of my unboxing and yay, these were the rest of my craft buddy cards that I got. Uh, these two are brand new out and this is the latest card set that they've actually done. Fully licensed artwork and I just think they're pretty and lovely and oh so cute so where shall we start let's start on the single packets first and then we'll have a look at the set so yeah craft buddy is how i got into uh, diamond painting and um, i used to do the craft buddy cards the original sets when they first came out um, and i think i got into that because they had one that was a westy dog and uh, yeah i did used to have a little westy before i got our gorgeous little scotty dogs and yeah that's just what drew me to it so the first one we have is this gorgeous birthday cake wow love things look how blingy that is oh my goodness me wow all pinks and then we've got blues and lemons as well i mean it's got three candles on but you could add a zero so you could have it as a 30th or i mean you've got all these little dots here you could always um add something else you know put your own little candles on or you can add names or numbers or whatever but i think that's quite a celebration style birthday with something that i mean a three-tier birthday cake wow and all these little like oh i'd like to think that they're chocolate uh, covered sweets there and uh, all your little banners and your balloons as well i just think the color palette is wonderful it is a partial uh, most of the cards are partial so none of the background has got any uh, sticky on it it is just literally where the uh, letters are on your canvas and these cards are 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters which if i just grab my tape measure they're a seven inch card which is a nice size okay so yep there you are 18 centimeters seven inches and it's the same the other way just to give you a heads up and um, they are an excellent quality card as well they're not going to fall over they're definitely you know, a nice thickness i would think these are up 350 400 gsm and they're a coated card as well so they're nice and shiny even without the gems on you get your license on the back as well and you've got your code on the back there which that code there is unique to this card set and that means that every packet of drills that you get or gems actually has that code on it as well so if you do separate your drills or any of your packets do come separated from your card you can always just look and refer to your little card, um, code on the back there Okay, looks like we've got a few specials as well in this one. So, got a lot of birthdays coming up in April. So, oh, I wonder which family member might get this one. <laughs> oh dear, wait and see. Love the packaging from Craft Buddy, always. Uh, top score, you know, the, the packaging and their branding is just wonderful. Gives you a little picture on the front there of what your um, diamond painting is going to look like, what your card's going to look like at the end and it gives you your key code on the back as well with dmc numbers all of these numbers now so if you do keep your gems are dmc numbers and then anything with a zero in the front of a number which this is zero fifteen, is a crystal a crystal gem and anything with a y i think it is a special gem and i think they might be the coated ones but we'll have a look so we've actually got a crystal and three special shape gems in this one and then the rest are just your standard resin drills. So we've got 15 colours, 15 different gems and drills. Okay, let us have a look in these. Very nice. It's a birthday cake. It's got to be blingy and special. Okay, oh, looks like that's our specials. Right, so look at these pinks. Now, Craft Buddy always do really good charting. Even on a small project like a card, they don't just say, all oh, right, well, this is pink, we'll just do it pink. As you can see, there's four different pinks there. Yeah, A, B, C, D, there are four different pinks. I'm just checking because to my eyes, they look the same, but I think there is, yeah, that is slightly darker. So you're going to get that different shading. So they thought that out rather than just giving you one or two colours, you do get an extra colour um, for your shading. And, you know, to put it on a, a card, I think is amazing. I think that's brilliant. We've got an orange, we've got a lemony yellow, 
we've got a couple of blues and then we've got a very pale pink and an even paler pink that one's nearly white a jady green color and then that one is our crystal color that's like a gold color very nice okay so there's no hot pink can you believe we've got a pink birthday cake no hot pink oh we have got a hot pink what am i saying look at that we couldn't not have a hot pink we have crystal gems large rounds in an aqua blue a lovely lemony gold and a hot pink yay and they're going to be all our different like little sweets all around the bottom of the cake so you're going to have like your normal resin drills and then all your sweets are going to be oh all blingy that is going to look super if you did want to put say names and things on you can do but if you don't want to cover over where you've got your gems on if you put this onto an eight inch by eight inch card it just gives you that inch border to put say happy birthday and somebody's name or their age or whatever and then you can cut this bit off and you've got that lovely bit of card to use on a different project because this is a very very good thick card okay so that one is card number one very nice last year in june i did do um a 30 cards in 30 days event and um, there was just me and i think one other lady that joined it but it was a point where i thought i've got a lot of cards to do and i want to get them done so i set myself a challenge and um, i think it was to go along with uh, rebecca four kids at 147 and um, add more zest as she is now was doing like um, a paint along where she would um, section a canvas off into 30 and then do one whip and chat one uh, part of the canvas each day and rather than doing a canvas I decided to do one card every day as my project and it just meant I got a lot of them done and then I've got one ready when it's a birthday instead of suddenly thinking oh it's uh, somebody's birthday tomorrow and I've got a card and I've got to quickly do the card and then get it posted <laughs> Okay, so that is that one. Right, and then the next one is Paddington Bear. This is the new range that they've just uh, brought out. They have got canvases, they've got stickers, uh, they've got a notebook. I did do an opening on a notebook, if you saw one of my previous Craft Buddy unboxings. I do have a playlist with Craft Buddy, so if you go and check that out, you will find the... Um, notebook that I did and oh the pigeons made a reappearance as well there was a pigeon on the one that I got <laughs> the on the notebook so yeah they have got a full Paddington range and this is one of the cards that they've brought out I'll have to have a Paddington card I do like Paddington bear yeah he's lovely albeit I am more of the little um, fluffy like character Paddington bear that they used to have on the animated series When I was younger so um, this one is a different Paddington to me but I still like him I still think he's ever so funny okay again we've got lovely packaging I do like the fact that they're now putting this pen and the gems in the bottom corner so you can see all your gems there just say eight plus on them for diamond painting but uh, yeah it's you'll know your children Um, other than the fact that you possibly need scissors to open your packets and um, there's nothing so it, it's up to you i say my granddaughter's been diamond painting from being sort of five-ish six-ish and um, i know my nephew was diamond painting before he went to school last he had some stickers to do so you know it, say you'll know your children but i think it's great for learning numbers and letters and colors and things and matching up right this one has 19 different uh, gems and colors and it looks as though we have no specials but we have got one two three four five crystals so i said anything with a zero in the beginning is actually a, um, a gem rather than a resin drill so that's those okay 19 colors is an awful lot on one little card i think that's uh, excellent again it will be the charting and getting the uh, different shading and everything the toolkits are, are good ones as well you get um, a branded pen with uh, that lovely 
purpley coloured crystal art there a three placer and a single placer um, a white boat same as the green boats but in white you get about 20 little grip seal bags and then there's also a little square of wax in there as well so they're a good little toolkit plenty to do your project um, and great if you're wanting to give this as a present you know there's plenty there for somebody to work with okay and if there is 20 bags there then you only need 19 for this project so yeah you've got enough to um enough to put um one of each color into each bag all i would suggest you do and something that i do when i'm doing a craft buddy kit if i do empty uh, the drills out into a different bag or into a container just put the little front bit on there so that you then can uh, match up your drills and um, when i do a kitting down you'll see what i mean i've <laughs> got to get a few of these done first so again it's an 18 18 centimeter by 18 centimeter card and look at paddington no wonder he's smiling with all those presents he's not going to get those in that post box though is he do you think he's trying to send them to aunt lucy in darkest peru <laughs> I used to love it when he used to say his darkest Peru. Don't know whether he still says that in the uh, new film, but that's what he used to say in the little programmes I used to watch. So we've got the re-emergence of the pigeon again. So I'll have to watch these films. I've not seen them. Um, I think I saw some of the first one with a couple of my grandkids, but I have got the second one on DVD and we've not watched it yet for whatever reason. So I must get it watched. I know they are quite funny. So, yeah, I think he's going to do well to get those into that post box, though, don't you? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, with that, actually, if you get some uh, Craft Buddy Magic glue and just put it on there, if, say, somebody's uh, age nine or eight or whatever, you could then, with your leftover crystals, put the number on there of how old they are for the birthday. So that would be quite good. I just keep looking at the pigeon. Just a diamond-painted pigeon. I think it's fab. <laughs> He's got his lovely blue iconic duffel coat on and his little red hat. He hasn't got his wellies on though. He usually has little black wellies on, doesn't he, as well? So, yeah. And again, these are blank inside, so you can add your own greeting. Um, I tend to add an insert in, just fold some paper and put either a peel off sticker or stamp a sentiment on. I don't handwrite because nobody can read my writing. <laughs> And then again, the back, you've got your license on the back there and Paddington. And then you do have your little code there again, which matches your drills. Okay, let's have a look at, see what we got in there. So 19 different colours. Wow. That is amazing on this little uh, picture. So we've got your 310 black, your lovely post box red there. A dark grey with an escapee red in it. Some beiges, the Paddington bear, another red, a couple of gingery browns, and some orangey browns and an orange, and blues and a grey, and a nice white. And then the crystals are red, gold, uh, lemony gold, green, and then that brownie colour at the end there. So what are we putting? Is it the parcels then that are all the crystal gems? Let's have a look. Yes, so it's all the parcels that are going to be in the crystals. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that'll be different. Right. So where does the white... Oh, right. Oh, oh I'm not sure I like that. Um, the muzzle around his uh, nose is actually bright white. I think really it wants to be a slightly different colour. Do you? I was thinking I was going to do it as an AB white, but... Um, I think that would look better maybe as uh, 3865 rather than the bright 5200 white. But we'll see when we get to do him. But we've got a pigeon to do. <laughs> oh dear. I just think you can diamond paint anything these days. <laughs> okay, so the card prices vary between sort of five pound ish and up to six pound ish for some of the licensed ones but obviously um it depends which ones they are there are quite a few discount codes floating around and they do sometimes have sales but if you're not wanting um to buy them singly then you can get them in packs and the packs you do tend to get them um as like a buy the set of like six here and you're only paying 
I was just thinking there's only five there, but there's that one there as well. Doolies. <laughs> then you're only paying for four. So it's like getting two free. I mean, if you think about how much cards are in card shops now, um, to get a decent quality card, particularly that's going to stand up and not fall over and has all this amount of detail on it, then I don't think £5 is out of the way. And I know that is a lot of money. And uh, yeah, from making my own cards for such a long time um, to actually venture into card shops now and looking at the price of cards, I'm like, oh my goodness me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you buy these sets... They don't have six different toolkits in um, and they don't have six different, obviously, the packaging and everything. So it does bring the cost down. And because it brings the cost down to the manufacturer, they then pass the savings on to us by just putting them in one box, which I always think is really good value. And I must admit, I did like the whole set of these and I nearly got them when they all came out singly. And I thought, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and I will get them um, as a set. So they come packaged. Okay, again, the boxes, the branding, uh, they're just superb. Really, really good. Uh, I just, I, you can't, I can't fault them on the branding and the packaging. I just think it's so professional and that definitely makes you want to buy. Well, not that I need much persuading these days anyway. Your drills do still come in separate little packets as they do in the um, single cards and they do have their own code numbers on them as well. So you have each code number on each pack. Okay, so that's the six, oops, six slots there. But instead of getting like the tent card uh, with the key codes on with all your different gems, you get a little... Uh, like crib sheet and it tells you uh, look it tells you what your picture is which part of it that you actually drill because they are just partials and then it tells you your numbers of your gems and again we've got your giraffe there your koala bears your panda your gorgeous little lion cub and your even lovely a little tiger cub i think they're so sweet but look at those aren't they sweet so we have uh, elephant has six colors and there's no specials on him there is all dmc codes and um, the giraffe we have 12 colors there are two crystals and one special drill wow uh, the panda has two crystals i suspect that will be the foliage round that seems to be something they do quite a bit you get a picture and it's the foliage around the animal or uh, the figure in the middle that tends to have the crystals on and it works really well. Uh, the koala bears, that one has two crystals again in the green. The little lion cub, he hasn't got any specials or crystals and the tiger has, let me have a look, three crystals oh he's special then so he's got extra but he's 18 different gems and colors so yeah just lovely little projects to do what i tend to do with this um is actually once i've um stopped filming i will cut this sheet up and i will put the picture and the little key code inside each packet of drills match them all up and put them inside so that i know those drills belong to that project Um, and it's just one less thing to think about when I want to come and do one of the cards. When I pick the drills up, I've got my little key code with it already. Okay, uh, you get your basic little um, leaflet as well. Just your generic leaflet telling you how to diamond paint. Learn to diamond paint in several different languages. And then we get our six very good quality envelopes. They're not see-through at all, so when you put your card in there you're not going to be able to see through it and it's a nice quality to protect your card uh, i don't think i've mentioned it on this what i normally do one of my little tricks from doing 3d decoupage cards years ago um, when you do send your card if it's going through the post just turn it inside out so that when it's in your envelope 
if it's going through, say, a franking machine or the rollers or whatever in the post office, you know, they're all big machines now, aren't they? And they all just whip along those conveyor belts. Then your gems aren't on the top to get moved. They're nicely encased in the middle of your card. So it just keeps it that little bit more protected. And if you want to, you can keep the top cover from your card um, that's covering your glue on your gems and just put that in between as well or even a little bit of bubble wrap um, and it just protects your card as it's going through the post. It is strange opening a card uh, and it's inside out and you do think, what on earth have I been sent? But uh, you soon twig on. <laughs> I know the first time one of my friends sent me a card inside out, I thought, what's this? What have they done? But I soon realised and thought that is a brilliant idea and it really does protect things going through the post. Okay, so our first gorgeous picture, look at that elephant. Aren't they stunning? And they are licensed artwork, and I can't remember the name of the artist. I will put it across the screen. Um, and let you know, but yeah, but that is just so pretty. And the background is stunning. I mean, these are just such gorgeous little pictures. You could quite easily put these um i would say possibly the elephant the tiger the lion and maybe the giraffe um as a set of four on your wall or even just the elephant and the tiger and the uh, lion cub uh, i'm not sure about having the koala and the panda together with them <laughs> you could maybe just do a different wall for those albeit they're all different countries but yeah they're, they're just so pretty i think we're an african elephant aren't we because we've got very big ears and it's a lucky elephant because you're supposed to always have elephants with the trunks going up, apparently. Brings luck into the house. So, But yeah, I mean, even the artwork in the background is stunning on that. So that's our number one. Oh, your toolkit in these, um, you actually get two trays and two pens. So if you want to work on them with a friend, then you can do. But uh, yeah, you still get your 20 bags and your little bit of wax. But that's what brings the cost down because it's a set rather than having to have six separate lots of packaging and toolkits and everything okay i quite like this i'd sooner have it this way than have it that way and obviously it's a lot less packaging for throwing away as well but maybe that's just me so then our next one is our koala bears look at those are they not cute or what um i've got a big picture of a koala bear to do so this would be quite nice as like a little extra um, maybe with that, and maybe if I get another little picture, I can make like a little scene on my wall. But yeah, that is so sweet. Look at baby's face. And I mean, this could be mummy or daddy that's carrying baby. So it'd be lovely for a Mother's Day card or a Father's Day card. Um, you know, I just think that's something a little bit different rather than just your flowers or whatever. Uh, and if you're anything like me, I love my cute. <laughs> Okay, and then the next one is our very happy smiley giraffe. And I think they're possibly going to be all um, a special girl. Oh, that one's just, we've just folded that card slightly wrong there. Look, can you see? We've just got a little bit of an edge there. I'll be getting my guillotine out and just taking a couple of millimetres off that edge. Because when you're card making, it's one thing you learn quite quickly is to make sure that your top card is just maybe a millimetre bigger than your bottom card so that you can just open it easily and um, you should never have it the other way around see if you've got that it just opens easier whereas when you've got it that way around i mean it's open now but it's not quite so easy uh yep so let's just have a look at these drills because uh, i want to see what these yellow ones look like so we're looking for ccka 119 so let's have a look through our drills so each packet has its own little code number on. So that's 123, that's 120, that's 121, that's 122, 119 is that one, and 118 is that one. So I've now got them all in order as well. <laughs> Let's just have a, I won't go through every pack of drills because you'll probably fall asleep. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So this one, right? Oh, oh, look! 
of these gorgeous and there's a lot of them we've got two packs oh three packs wow so we've got three packs and they're faceted large gold yellowy gold rounds there so yeah they do always give you lots of spares as well so excellent so that's very pretty to offset the beiges and everything with the giraffe very nice and what they tend to do as i said is that the leaves so we have j and k yep so the flowers or the blossoms somebody did tell me what they were and i'm sorry i can't remember what they were but thank you for that um and the leaves all the way sort of outlining framing the giraffe are all sparkly crystals but then your actual giraffe is your resin gems which look at all these different colors all the different browns and beiges so one two three four five six seven eight nine different browns and beiges to go on that giraffe and you'll get all your different shading and depth on that it just makes it look more 3d but because this is blingy it draws your eye more into the middle as well to see the picture which they just do it so well i love them i love card making um don't have the time to get all my kit out and do it all which is why i diamond paint now because it's so much easier to just sit with this on your knee all you need is your card your gems your pen and your wax and off you go <laughs> you don't need all your cutting mats and your guillotines and um, your paints and your stamps and everything um, so yeah that's why I've sort of moved into diamond painting it's easier and it's easier to put down and then pick up again as well if you're halfway through painting on a card um, it's not impossible but it's harder to walk away from it whereas if you're actually just diamond painting I can stop putting the gems on nothing's going to come to harm and I can come straight back to it again and carry on where I left off so that is our giraffe she's very very pretty she's very smiley uh the class these as i say as partials as well because the background's not done but what you find is that because they're a smaller picture the eyes and sometimes the noses and the mouths and things don't have gems on because to put the gems on those eyes it could actually quite spoil the picture whereas if they just leave it as the printed material the printed picture um it looks more like the animal it looks uh, better there so yeah that's something else they do well okay so that's our little a giraffe and then we have oh look at that that is just so cute our little tiger cub and uh, anybody that's been with me for a while hello welcome back and newbies hello hello and um, the nearest city to us is hull and Hull City football team is the Hull City and we are Tigers. Our nickname is the Tigers. So, yeah, we do have quite a few Tigers and things around because uh, the kit is black and amber stripes. Yay! So, <laughs> we've got a definite soft spot for Tigers in our house. And, yeah, I think you'll find, again, all the greenery around the edges is going to be crystal gems and then your Tiger will be uh, just your resin drills, your resin gems. Oh, but that little face and those little eyes. He's so sweet and he's got a waterfall in the background. Do you think his mum's told him, go on, get a bath. Go on, you filthy. You've been playing out, go and get a bath. <laughs> and he's saying, oh, but mum, I'm not that dirty, really. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, just my imagination running wild. And then, have you ever seen a more smiley panda than this one? Goodness me, look at that big smile on that face. Again, the mouth and the eyes don't have any gems on, but I think that is lovely. Really happy, smiley picture. And I see there's nothing to stop you putting them in picture frames. Craft Buddy do do the picture frames that fit these exactly. Or if you wanted a border around it and actually... Um, put your frame mounts and everything and you could do a little bit bigger but yeah i just think that is so cute it's a really lovely set this one couldn't resist it had to get my cards what can i say uh yeah i still seem to i love my diamond paintings i love my pictures but i still enjoy doing my cards <laughs> and then look at that one i think that's a little girl i think she's definitely got to a very honorary little attitude going on there <laughs> 
she's uh, just come back to mum and said yeah i'm back okay i'm queen of the jungle <laughs> and her little tail there doesn't have any gems on but the backgrounds on these pictures are just stunning she's so pretty and those gorgeous brown eyes there yeah she's gonna be batting those eyes at a few little boy lions i think <laughs> okay so that is our set of six cards We've got a little lion cub, we've got a panda, we've got a little tiger cub there, we've got a giraffe, we've got our koala bears and we've got an elephant and it's quite a nice mix as well. I think you'll probably find that somebody, you know, friends, family or whatever will like one of these animals if not all of them and you could just do them as a picture or give the card to the person and then say and there's a little frame if you want to keep it afterwards. Okay, and then not forgetting, of course, we also had our little Paddington bear. We can't forget Paddington. And our birthday as well. <laughs> so, eight lovely cards. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I will probably be doing my 30 cards in 30 days in June again. Um, yeah, it'll just get me to do them. <laughs> okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. Um, if you want to join our little family and see these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.